Greetings, I'm Richard Gladwell and we're here with John Clinton of Mackay Boats. John is a top sailing coach and a rig and sail designer of 30 years experience. He's going to talk us through how the FX's rig works and some other features of the women's two-handed skiff. John, what are we seeing here? This is um, Alex and Molly sailing off Auckland in just over 25 knots. We had a peak gust of around 31. Um, Sailing quite comfortably in these sort of conditions, you can see how extreme they are. What's particularly exciting to see here is how the top of the rig's working in, in, in the puffs and as they hit the waves. The boat's obviously very well balanced. They're able to keep the boat flat and, and sail as if they're racing really hard. There's, um, there's no staggering going on. The boat's obviously quite easy to sail in these sort of conditions. Um, they've got the obviously got the main set up pretty flat and the jib set up so there's no back winding going on they're able to trim the main to um, get the optimum out of the boat So what are we seeing on the tack here because um, she's accelerating quite quite nicely Yeah again that's really just the feature of how well the boat's balanced and and, and, and I guess set up I mean we're starting with a 49er platform so the, the whole boat layout and the way everything works is, is well proven and well tested over um, a couple of Olympiads now um, and that that all goes towards making the FX a lot easier boat to to start with, or a, pl- a lot easier platform to start with. And we're just now turned around and sailing up the White Amata Harbour. As you can see, the the winds are right up. Um, what's the key point out of that tack we've just seen? Um, again, just how how easy it was for them to to, to actually complete the tack. The way they were actually able to use the whole platform to run from one side to the other which is a feature that girls really like about the boat, having the big open cockpit and, and the, um, the wings on the side to be able to, to run through. And you'll notice through all their manoeuvres that they're standing up all the time um, and gives them a lot of balance. They're able to um, undertake all their manoeuvres quite easily. So now we've, we've turned the corner, we're coming down the harbour. Um, this is usually a bit of a death now for most skiffies in the harbour. Can you just talk us through what's happening? I, mean, I guess the, the biggest problem with a lot of skiffs is, is what we call going down the mine or, or, or nose diving. Um, and this boat seems to show very little signs of that, it's, especially compared to the 49er. And that, a lot of that's just the reduced rig size compared to the 49er. It's, it's um, nearly a metre shorter. Um, the top of the rig with the wider head opens a little bit easier. Um, lowering the centre of effort, so the whole the whole thing is a lot more stable and a lot easier to sail than than the 49er downwind. Um, we know from the 49er compared to other skiffs, it's a really refined platform and a, a good boat to sail anyway. And and this is even more so. So the typical typical problem in skiffs are bearing away doesn't seem to be a pro- haven't been a problem at all on this boat. Um, and I think th- on the, this relatively extreme day, we never see the bow going down. You see the girls in, in relatively good control all the time. Even the, just then when they had a big wave and a bit of a gust, the Jenica, they got back under control very, very quickly. I'm seeing the boat just go down here and the bow just smack smacking down and the girls look quite relaxed in the back. Why is, is that? They look like they're having a great time, don't they? Um, again, it's just the, everything's working right. It's balanced. They're, um, they're, they're experienced sailors. They know how to set it up and make it go right, but... We've got a new, uh, a latest, the latest technology uh, design and genic is on board here, um, which are a bit flatter than they were 15 years ago, and um, and that's making a big difference to the way the boat sails, and 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 how easy it is to trim downwind. That job looked pretty simple. Yeah, yeah. Again, the, the big wide platform that they can run through makes a big difference to all boat handling. Okay, now we're looking at a capsize, and um, Alex Maloney's just fallen off the back of the boat and swimming through to leeward there, while Molly Meach has got herself up on the centreboard. And uh, can you just talk us through this technique that they've picked up from the 49ers? Yeah, w- when they first went to sail the boat, they, they spent a bit of time talking to the top 49er crews to learn how to, um, the best way of doing everything, and capsizing was, was one of those lessons. Um, so here the, the crew is standing on the centreboard. She's actually chatting to the... Um, coach boat right now while she's waiting for Alex to go around and Alex will be going around um, inside the boat and you can just see her popping up there so you, she's holding on to the to that side of the boat there so that when that, it rights itself um, she'll quickly be able to stabilise and stop it flipping over again So, so it's the normal, normal routine that you follow with the, 
the crew and the helmsman, that the crew goes on the centreboard and the helmsman climbs in from the to lure? Yeah, the, the, the skipper's then able to get the boat under control again and then you see that the crew's just holding the boat steady while she's doing that and then as soon as um, she's got the tiller in hand and the main sheet again and everything back sorted out, um, the crew will jump back on board and they'll get going again. So what's the duration of this capsize? At, um... Well, this one I think they just did in just around one and a half minutes and you can see they're back up. So basically they're racing. They're, not gonna, they're gonna still be in this race at that sort of time because in this much breeze everyone's gonna be capsizing. So we're sailing up wind again here, just going past Auckland's North Head at the entrance to the Waitemata Harbour. And uh, girls have just tacked, and uh, looks like they've got a bit of an issue, John. Yeah, it looks like a little bit of a puff's come through just after they've tacked, and they've, just, they've borne away just a little bit too much in the tack and um, capsized. Now you'll see very quickly that the helmsman's getting around behind the boat underneath while the crew gets back up onto the centreboard. And they now obviously know how to, what to do exactly as soon as they've capsized, then um, the, the crew will start riding the boat as soon as the skipper says she's ready to down on the uh, leeward side of the boat there. So what's Molly hanging on to there? You can see she's got a rope in her hand. Is that a special riding line or is that just a control line? Yeah, no, the control line's run down underneath the wing there, so she was just grabbing hold of those and pulling on those to um, allow herself to sit right at the outside edge of the centreboard. I mean, instantly, just with her weight alone, she can ride the boat quite comfortably. I mean, again, this looks like a capsize. It's it's well underneath two minutes, and they're, they'll be back racing again. I mean, that boat popped up very quickly there, and as you know, people know that the sailed skiffs and trapeze boats, they're not, not easy to get up because you've got so much sail area in the water and, and quite a lot of weight there. But they looked like they were turning the boat and getting the wing to work for them. Is that right? Or? Yeah, see, a little bit of that. And also you've got to remember, again, compared to the 49er, you've got a mast that's lighter, it's a metre shorter. The sails are uh, lighter again, there's... there's it's two kilos less of total rig up there and a lot um, low, lot less riding um, for them to ride. So it, it is a lot easier boat to ride, even for their lighter body weight. And so that was about a uh, 1 minute 40 capsize, I think. And then here we go, they're off. So now we're just doing another run up the harbour. Um, the, you can see it going past the downtown Auckland area there and this wind's gusting about 25 to 30, 30 knots. You can see the sea state there is uh, pretty confused, and the one thing you can't see on the on the video is the the way the wind flicks around uh, as it's coming out of those buildings. So they are very testing conditions. We're just going to looking here at the back end of the rig, John. What are we seeing here in terms of the the leech working, particularly on the main? There, it's, everything looks like it's very nice and tight and working well. Yeah, you know, the, the concept of these waterhead sails, uh, which really came from I guess the, the eighteen foot skiff. Um, development class in, in Australia and then we saw it in the Maris Cup boats and, and all the top um, high performance boats in the world are now running that and the advantage of it is that the, the width of the sail at the top is, helps it um, depowers on the gas and you can see they're working nicely here as they hit the waves and, and any little puff that's coming through it's, it's the sail's opening just because of the geometry of it up there Okay, thanks very much, now we're here from the girls It was extreme, eh? it was so much fun. Crazy, I don't know, <laughs> wild. <laughs> it was just awesome.